In a huge relief to the former Congress President Rahul Gandhi, now the Supreme Court today stayed his conviction and sentencing in the 2019 defamation case filed by Purnesh Modi. The battle that has been going on from a long while has now come to a settlement that Rahul Gandhi's conviction has now been stayed. Now that means that Rahul Gandhi has found a way back to the parliament. He will be able to contest the 2024 elections as well and can definitely uh, be a part after, in fact, you know, the Lok Sabha Secretariat clears and reappoints him as a member of the parliament, can also take part in the no confidence motion proceedings that are to begin on the parliament from the next week. Now the bench headed by Justice B.R. Gawai has clearly stated that since the Gujarat High Court, uh, the Gujarat uh, Court which had convicted Rahul Gandhi did not give a clear reason as to why maximum punishment was extended to Mr. Gandhi in this 2019 defamation case except for that, uh, except for the reason that abonishment by the Supreme Court in the Rafael case, the, it is better in the interest of justice to stay his conviction and that's the reason why in fact Rahul Gandhi has been granted this big relief from the apex court of the country. Now, the politics has played up on this particular matter. The Congress is rejoicing this particular decision from the apex court of the country. His sister, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, clearly saying that it's the victory of the truth, Satya Mev Jayate, is what she had tweeted. But at the Supreme Court of India, the Supreme Court also has stated very, very categorically that the statements that were made by Mr. Gandhi were in a bad taste. It has been cleared that Mr. Rahul Gandhi can now, in fact, clearly go and reclaim his parliamentary membership to the Lok Sabha Secretariat. And in fact, Mr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi has also categorically clarified that the order of the Supreme Court will be sent to uh, uh, the Lok Sabha Secretariat and a revocation of the membership, uh, you know, reclamation of the membership would be sought by Mr. Gandhi for, uh, you know, uh, participating in the parliamentary proceeding and uh, so that the people of Wayanad would also get, get their uh, voices back in the parliament. Now, this case uh, that was filed in 2019 uh, had emerged out of a parliamentary speech, uh, uh, of an election speech that was given out by Mr. Gandhi in Kerala, wherein he had said that all Modis are thieves. Uh, following which, Mr. Purnesh Modi had knocked the doors of a Gujarat court, clearly saying that this was a defamation of not only him, but the whole Modi community. And very, very categorically matter was heard and the trial was done in this particular case. Rahul Gandhi was convicted and was sentenced to two years of imprisonment with a certain fine. However, his sentence was sun uh, su suspended until the pendency of the appeal that is there before the Gujarat Sessions Court. The application for stay on conviction was filed first before the Gujarat Sessions Court, which rejected it, saying that Mr. Gandhi should have been more careful since his statements are holding a lot of value. Similar were the observations of the Gujarat High Court as well when it had dismissed Rahul Gandhi's uh, appeal, challenging that particular order of uh, the Gujarat Sessions Court, uh, refusing to stay a convict, uh, stay his conviction in this particular case and then the matter reached the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court issued notice to Purnesh Modi and the Gujarat government. Purnesh Modi in his reply said that Rahul Gandhi is arrogant and he has not apologized for his deeds and in fact is somebody who is also having criminal antecedents. Now following all of that, now the Supreme Court today has given out a clear green way to Mr. Rahul Gandhi staying his conviction and giving a green signal for him to be back at the Parliament of India. I am Anand Bhatnagar with the video journalist Arpit Seth for CNN News 18.